hear so many comments say, my, my legs hurt. Anyways, we got this match coming on the internal J Flex right now. The internal quickly kind of putting some work. Falling back here. Oh, gets the shield just in time. Not how long the internal get the uh, the shine guaranteed up smash. Oh, catches the internal coming in with the wave dash back down tilt. Slaps. Grab the ledge. Wow, smart stuff by J Flex. Takes a small lead right now, but he has to be careful. Yeah, my neck is hurting, dude. But uh, anyways. Yo, where's Flex been? Uh, he has been in the word works, man. He's probably in New Jersey, kind of chilling. Word, word. In the backwater. <laughs> yeah. Dead. Dush. Yeah, well, uh, I didn't, I mean, I wasn't here the first thought. What, did he do some shit, sick shit to take that off of DJ? Uh, you know, he got a, he, uh, he baited an approach by DJ with a down tilt. Follow with a dash attack and then uh, forward air, mm -hmm. and then just read that DJ is gonna go to the ledge, and he just right, held right, onto right. the ledge. Held it, nice. Classic clean stuff. Uh huh. And Ooh, nair grab. That's like my favorite thing that Fox has against Sheik. It's just it's so like viscerally pleasing. <laughs> Definitely it is. Ooh. Slice. Ooh. Ooh. Can't go to the ledge yeah, for free like that, man. Catches him so bad. You wanna finish this set or no? Uh. I mean, we could trade if you want. It's up to you. Only if you're too tired. Because, like, no, it's because my neck Yeah, broke. I know. I mean, that's what I mean, like your voice. Yeah. I'll be stepping out. Jojo will be stepping in. So, I hope you guys like the commentary. Please enjoy the matches. What's up, young Joe? Ooh. All right. Damn, this is tight. Yeah, yeah I was going to say, this is close. Um, yeah, I mean, J-Flex has been super MIA. Yeah. So, like, I had no idea what I, I was going to expect from him uh, yeah. coming into this. I mean, for this set in particular, I feel like I, I've seen this often because when I was starting out, I went to no yeah, it a was, lot. Yeah, no, for sure. Even style here. Points, and I would see this often. So, they're definitely not strangers to each Ooh. other. That was a super... Oh, he could have just grabbed lead. Right, okay, nice. I'm so uh, glad he picked that up because, like, he could have just grabbed lead. Yeah, he could have. You know. Got me so nervous, J-Flex. I know. Um... So, I mean, you generally think of DJ as, like, you know, floaty slayer. Not even floaty. He's, like, you know, he has some troubles versus, like, good foxes and, good, like, mostly good falcos. But, like, he just runs over most floaties. Um, but J-Flex, I think, took the last set of versus him. Oh, really? I think it was at its lid. Or oh, okay. maybe somewhere else. Um, I know he was at, they were both at its lid. Yeah, so but I know that, I know that J-Flex has a DJ set. Okay. Like, this ranking quarter. Ooh, that okay, was so that good. Okay, that was actually so good. Yeah. Fair to grab. I think that's such a DJ. Yeah. That's TJ. Because their, their styles are, I don't know if they're conflicted or similar. Because I know that it's J a little bit of both. Yeah, you know J when it's like they're opposites, yeah. but it's like on the same opposite yeah. sides of the same coin. Okay. Oh, he could have got. Oh yeah, he had the fair. Yeah. If he just stuck out a, a nair, that would have been okay. That's it. Unless mm, no, he's yeah, he's not, like yeah, that, yeah, oh he's at yeah. Stage. Okay. okay. Yeah, that's gonna be it. You can't really afford that slop in your edge guards, you know? Like, he only got that because of. Uh, yeah. uh, Jojo underscore SSBM. Jojo underscore SSBM. Yeah, why'd you make a Smash Twitter specifically? Uh, because I felt like. You felt like you were doing bad content? Yeah, no, you, no. You no, felt I, like your I, friends I wanted, were gonna, like, leave you. No, not, not that. I just wanted to, like, keep it separate because it's, like, two different entities. Yeah, no, for sure. Yeah. And there's also, like, branding. Like, you want it yeah, to exactly. be similar, yeah, totally. Exactly. Dude, I'm so mad about that because I wanted to, um,. Switch tags. Oh, now yeah. I've got like everything. Everything is jib, and it's like fuck. Yeah. Can't switch All right. tags. All right. Up throw up smash. Damn. That. Two on him on. So this is best five, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> you definitely flubbed that like, guard. Oh, he's making up Catches for it. a slide off. Oh, that was a really good laser. Yeah. Makes up yeah, for it. Super solid stop. Yeah, I feel like with these players, we're not going to catch them slipping too much. This, is, this stage is so Quite rough for Sheik, though. Yeah. So this is kind of what I thought oh, yeah. about the Sheik box matchup is like, it's not actually terribly uneven on most stages, but Fox's counter picks are just so much more brutal for. Do you Sheik think it's like the weird ass? Yeah, the weird ass ledges on Pokemon. 
No, 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 no. It's just like the stage is, she doesn't yeah. have a top platform oh, to yeah. round on. She dies at like 60. Yeah. Like. <clears throat> and then the same thing with FD, like she just has nowhere to like play. Um, while here, uh, so like Fox's counter picks are just so much more brutal because like Fox still has all of his regular shit on Dreamland, on Battlefield. On, you know, there's a few little advantages for Sheik, but it's nowhere close to the advantage Fox gets here. So that's why Fox ultimately wins this. It's like it's not because like he wins every neutral interaction like some people like to like to make out. It's just that like ultimately his counter picks are stronger than Sheik's. Wow, yeah. amazing surviving that. Yeah. J Flex actually won the scrimmage on the right side. <laughs> Take that song. <laughs> now they're doing some beautiful That's dancing. That's so cute. Yeah. Dude, she's is like really impressive when you just look at it. Yeah. And, you know, you, know, you see it, it's like, oh, wow, they're doing box. the same thing. So they definitely know each other. Yeah. <laughs> Coordinated like dancing. Yeah. Okay. Oh, wow. She just puts her foot way up in the air. Like sometimes you like forget that this is like a game of like things that are supposed to represent people. <laughs> and you're like, how did she do that with yeah. her leg? Everyone's aerial that doesn't have a sword or a turn up or just kicks. <laughs> oh. Dude, Fair from Ledge from Sheik is so good. Nobody talks about it because, like, they have Sheena stalling and shit. Yeah. But it's, like, super, super good. And it's super be. annoying to deal with. What's interesting now is that DJ has a lead, and usually he tries to keep that shit. But he's going in a lot, yeah. right? And at the same time, yeah, it's like it's hard to do that. Yeah, like Dude, right every there. time. Yeah, with J Flex, his his style is very punish heavy. Yeah, every time so. J Flex gets like a really solid yeah place for an edge guard, I always feel like he messes up in terms of like yeah. what he um, what his setup is. But he just has the read, so it doesn't end up mattering. Yeah. Okay, I don't know if that was a flaw, but it, it seems like from what I know about J Flex, I think on his first grab. Oh. Oh, that's rough. Yeah. He's not happy with it. Yeah, on his first grab. Uh, I actually, I think I heard, like, IBDW talking about it last night. That mm -hmm. he would catch on his first grab, he'd try to read that He first. reads the panic option. Yeah. Yeah. So watch out for it. Yeah. See, like, right here, this is another uh, repeat of the last stock where DJ Nintendo has a lead and he'll try to space and, like, like play, you know, get away from me. But, you know, J Flex just... His punish game is so strong, right. and, like you know, most players that. And it's also like if it's that obvious, it. what yeah, you're gonna do exactly. like, yeah, he's really good at. Because I feel like with uh, DJ and other players, he can take advantage of that. Because I think I feel like no one else's punishes game, punish games can like make up for that. Yeah, yeah, and these are definitely the risk two. reward isn't like in their yeah. favor like it is for J Flex. Yeah, and these are two. Wow. Ooh, yeah, these grab. are two very patient, experienced Ooh. players. Okay. Okay. Yep, that'll do it. Still though, like sometimes you just gotta hold that. You just gotta hold the. Like that's the thing is like if Sheik wins, it's so often in game five because Pokemon and FD are just so hard for her to win on. So she has to win on all of the other stages. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Found. DJ. Yeah. With this stage, I feel like DJ will definitely have more trouble running around. It is. Yeah, I definitely think it's like style. the right choice. Yeah. You don't want to take him to Dreamland. Yeah. And Yoshi's, you know, the the platforms are, are definite on like. Okay. Oh, I didn't realize you were still in. Go get him, bud. Yo, Eric. Are you guys playing next? God damn it. Do you want to like find me someone? Can you tell Julia? Can you tell Julia to come commentate? Julia, the pink dress girl. Okay, okay. Oh. Are you gonna do it? You don't have to, you don't have to. I've got I've got the boys. Yeah, just, well, put your food down if you're going to do it, though. I'm sorry. All right, here we are. With so this is Boys to Bench, as you've heard. Hi. One of the most legendary tags in the New York scene right of now. Of course, of course. You know, really. Um, uh, yeah, so we've got actually, like, a really tight set. Every one, every game's got last talk. DJ, like, barely clutched out last game after J... Uh, but, like, J, J Flex got the first part, and she could have ended it. 
This is like a matchup that's like so reliant on like intense like precision almost. And I feel like like when you get to like really close like Fox Sheik sets, that's when you see like this insane like spacing and like mind games. And it's just it really comes down to these like very small adjustments and situations. And like I don't know. I mean, I'm coming into this like midway, so like can you maybe give me like what's um. Yeah, it's been interesting. I mean, I think you'll see it as it plays out. It's uh, me, me and JoJo are talking about how their styles are actually can be very similar, but at the same time, like opposites of each other. Um, yeah. And that sounds you know contradictory, but the point is, it's like they exist kind of on the same scale, and then they're just on different sides of it. Yeah, I mean, the fact of the matter is that like either of them, in theory, off of like a grab or really just like any good hit, like that could be a stock. Uh, is that? Like, yeah, well, it's interesting because DJ has, like, a lot of really, really good setups on, you know, most characters. Like, he's got all this, like, play with his, like, fair yeah. grabs, fair up smashes. And J-Flex is, you know, he's not a reaction tech chaser like some people are where he'll, like, um, you know, he reads. He reads yeah. a lot on his tech chases, but he has solid reads, and they're not super high commitment, so he never gets punished that was really hard. very good, calling out with the F-tilt and then the down tilt. Most sheets wouldn't go for, like, that second option, but, like, that's... I mean, that's like deep, deep condition. Ooh, right that up here was fantastic. Yeah. No, and the other thing is, is um, you know, Money Sheik's, like, once they don't get the edge guard, they're kind of lost. But uh, J-Flex has been really playing really well with DJ in the corner. He had yeah. the kill there. And I know that he's really not giving DJ a lot of space, and I feel like that's really what you have to do. With like, DJ, yeah. absolutely. Because the fact of the matter is that if you give Fox a lot of space, then they start dash dancing and they can hit you with, like, jumpings and stuff. But if they don't have a lot of space, like, it's it's very yeah, difficult for them to get back. Which sounds yeah. wrong, you know? It sounds like you shouldn't want to scuffle Fox. Yeah, like, especially because, like, you don't want to be close to Fox. But also, you know, super depends on the Fox, and DJ is someone who it's like... Ooh, that was an all-or-nothing... See, that's how you can just, they're just such old heads, dude. They're such old school players yeah. that, like, stuff like that, that, like, so many other players would, like, like, that seems like such a mix-up to a newer player because yeah. we're so much used to our, like, crazy angles and stuff. But, like, that's, like, what they've been doing for so yeah, long. Like, they're it's, so ready for that. It's it's insane to see, like, two players who have been playing for such a long time, like, play against each other because, like, the game that they're playing is, like, such an amalgamation of, like, this new school, like, precision and refinement, but also, like, these mind games that you just don't And it's see. also very personal, you know? Like, a lot of this stuff is not just, like, this is a high level of play. It's also, like, these two players specifically have been playing for yeah. so long. I mean, how many sets, like, these two players, same region for, for, like, a decade now. How many dozens of sets? I would have honestly played? put it above 100. Yeah. It's very likely. I'm sure. And I'm sure, like... That must be, like, so insane. I mean, like, to... Yeah, so it's just, like, all of... They're just reading habits that they've been, like... They're, they've been looking at for literal years. Yeah. It's fascinating to see. And it's really, like, one of the, the most interesting parts about watching, like, locals is that you get to see, like, these very, history. very, like, history... Yeah, yeah rivalries and, like, matchups. Damn, he waited the last yeah. second to let If he that got the platform there with that up B, though, that would be really, really good. That would be, like... But, I yeah, mean, it's harder well. to cover from the ledge for sure, but, like, I'm not sure it was possible to make it there. Yeah, it, it's definitely, like, Sheik has a very bad recovery game against Fox in this matchup. Like, it's, I mean, like, that's, you know, kind of like kind a... Kind of a lot of matchups, but... Yeah. I mean, it didn't used to be. People used to think that Sheik's recovery was really good, and then people yeah. started finding, like, setups so that you consistently cover every option, and it stopped being good. Yeah, I mean, it's just, like, so... Once you force her on, say, oh, my God. See, that's, like, what we're talking <laughs> about. Like, such a deep, sure. like... You I know. mean, I'm not going to give him too much credit all the time. Sometimes it's just like, yeah. he knew he was going to hold in, you know? You know, I'm sometimes suspicious of when people say, like, oh, like, that was such a good read. Because, like, sometimes you just throw something out and, like, it works. Or sometimes, you know, it's like, sometimes the read is just obvious. Like, yeah. I don't, that doesn't mean it's not a read, but, like, not every read is, is equally impressive. It's all impressive. Yeah, definitely. I, I feel like uh, J-Flex is really going on stage for like all of his recoveries, and DJ is preempting it by going back on stage. I'm interested to see if J-Flex is going to try and go for the left. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's hard, like though, because you've seen him, like, remember when he mixed it up with the air dodge, and DJ's yeah, like, Yeah, yeah, and it just didn't work at all, and like, he lost a game for that. Yeah, so... No, it's, I, I, it's so stressful, especially when you get to these like later matches. But for real, the one ooh, ooh. he doesn't get the nair bounce. That's uh, that's really important. It's a rough. Him. That's a that's a very tough play for him right there. Yeah, but I like I can't see what Back he did throw. wrong in setting it up. Um, I think what's so DJ has the lead, but if you look at how they've been playing, you know DJ and he's very comfortable on this on like the outsides of the stage. But J Flex has consistently had center, and that's allowed him to like yeah, um, yeah, just. 
hold center, and you know it may, it's why he's living so long because he's never far off enough. He never gets hit far off. He's always getting die. hit like across the entire stage. And it's also um, it's making it much less. It's making it much easier for him to deal with the way DJ's coming in. Yeah, he actually was dead either way. With yeah, that. yeah, yeah. No, there was no. And maybe the SCI didn't try to attack. But right, so it could have potentially saved him. But yeah. Anyways, tight game. Yeah, I mean, we'll see. Ooh, at the edge though. That was a questionable air dodge from DJ. I mean, he hasn't done it all set though. Yeah, that's fair. So anything you haven't done all set can be. Ooh. Oh no! He oh, didn't mean to do that at all. Oh my god. Oh my god, and the air dodge. Wow. J Flex is really He does he does take the lead with that combo though. Yeah. And look, DJ doesn't hold center. He he, he went no, all no, the way no. back there with that laser and he doesn't keep cheek in the corner like he could have off of that um What's it called? And J Flex really going like very deep in yeah, trying well, to keep the to. pressure on. Cuz I mean, what DJ's trying to do is he's trying to set up a a bait with the laser basically. Yeah. And that's Ooh. why he keeps that's going to do it. That's going to do it. GG's to DJ now in winners finals. Yeah, so he was constantly just shooting it, shooting, and then jumping back, and then yeah. shooting, waiting for it. So J Flex, if he knew 